Oh. Hi everyone, so today I'm making a simple Peruvian beef stir fry called Tlomo Saltado. You're gonna need tomatoes, red onion, rice, ahi paste. If you can't get fresh ahi, uh, ahi is just a yellow pepper. And also Peruvian soy sauce. It's very important that you get Peruvian soy sauce and not Chinese or Japanese soy sauce. The first couple of times that I made lomo, uh, it came out very salty or dry because I didn't want to use so much soy sauce because I knew how salty it was and my lomo came out dry. Or if I finally used enough so that it was moist, it was very salty and I couldn't figure out why and then it dawned on me. Peruvian soy sauce is a lot less salty. So Peruvian soy sauce. Salt and pepper, garlic, and I'm using flank steak today, but you can also use skirt steak or whatever you like. Also, I have french fries in the oven right now. You can also fry it if you like. This is just a lot easier for me and cleanup is a lot quicker, but whatever you like. Totally forgot to mention that we need some distilled vinegar. So sorry. All right, let's start by cutting up our beef. We are going to cut against the grain about a quarter of an inch or you can go thinner or thicker if you like this is pretty much standard stir fry size and we want to cut against the grain because the fibers are running this way so we want to cut against it to help break it up so that it's a lot more tender otherwise it's gonna to be tough and no one likes tough beef all right let's set this to the side for a second now we're gonna rough chop some onions and wedges and to a hot pan, we are gonna add in some oil. And to this, we're gonna add in the onions. So then we're gonna add in some minced garlic. And give that a quick stir. Now we're gonna go in with our beef. And a little salt and pepper. Remember, not too heavy on the salt because we are using soy sauce. Pop it around. Now, everything is going to go pretty quick. We're going to add in one tablespoon of vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, Two tablespoons of the ahi paste and give it a stir. Okay, and now we're gonna rough chop some tomatoes in wedges. Toss that in there as well. I'm going to let it go for another 30 seconds and this is pretty much done. This is the finished product and so now I am going to remove our fries from the oven. Now one of two things can happen. You can either toss the french fries in here or add the french fries on the side if you want. I like my french fries to be doused in this sauce. Okay, toss. Alright. Oh yes. I just had a little bite of the french fries and it's still And you can garnish with some fresh cilantro, totally optional, but I, I try to put cilantro on like everything. So here you have it. Lomo saltado. It took us less than 10 minutes. The longest part about this recipe is actually making the french fries. So All right. I like to get the sauce on everything. You know what? 
I really like using that flank steak. It is so tender, so soft. Anyway, go try the recipe. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And you can find this recipe on my website at FriendsAndThighs.com. I'll see you later.